That's a look you shoot your enemy. Okay. Well, then let me ask you this. What exactly is the order after? And who the hell is Dante? You do not demand answers from me! You possess the power of a demon. Back down. I don't want to hurt you. I won't do that to Kitty. Hurt me? You don't get it, do you? So this is our next boss, Angelo Credo. So Credo's been angelified, in angel fied kind of thing. And this is actually one of my favourite battles, to be honest. Um, reason being is that out of all the battles so far, this has probably been the most like a one-on-one -on -one fight besides Dante, obviously, because all the other guys we fought have been huge beasts, and you know, they're three times your size and taking them down is amazing. But this is the closest to like, a one-on, a real one-on-one. -on -one Man to man fight there's been so far. I just found that enjoyable in a way. You know, because there's any other guys used a sword as well, or well, besides burial, but he's got a giant sword, that doesn't count, he's cheating. So, to beat this boss, what you really want to do is to break down his defences and stun him, obviously, so you can use a bust on him and get in lots of damage and style. So, the best way to do that is two tactics, really. The first one involves getting in for a hit and then dodging his retaliation because he always dodge at guards, and then hitting him, and using a buster, just like that. What, what great timing. Then he's stunned, just like this, and you can use a buster. You can use a... Not use a bust. Okay. Doesn't normally do that. It almost went exactly as I was describing it. What are the odds? Oh wait, I'm narrating, aren't I? So, anyway. The other way to do it is to use charge shot free. Just keep your distance, mainly. Dodge a lot of his attacks, get a charge up free, and no, try and do an attack. And then when he guards, use a charge up free, and that'll do damage to his shields. And, you, and then you get a chance to get your attack on. It's twice now I've tried to do it, and it's not worked. Not having a good day here, are we? Either way, the same tactic still works. Get in, dodge, get in again, and buster. So yeah, when his shield goes red. That's when you can tell he's close to losing, to being stunned. So it's just kind of a visual guy, so you know how well you're doing. So obviously, if it's blue, you're doing crap. And just shut up. It is kind of repetitive in a sense, because you're just going to run in, dodge, run in again. Oh, here we go, Buster. And of course, if you use a bust on the boss while using Devil Trigger, it does a lot more damage. And you get a lot more style for it. It doesn't cost you much except for Devil Trigger. Power, magic, whatever it's called. I've forgotten. So he's almost dead now, actually. He's only got about one bit of health. Also, with those spears, you can actually bust those and throw them back at him. But you need incredibly good timing to do that. I, I have done it a few times before. But I've, that was a while ago, so I'm a bit I'm a bit rusty. Come on, he's almost dead. So we got a small bit left. Oh, this is new. That's new too. He never did that to me in the console version. Usually because I killed him before then. Come on. Oh, that went right over my head. And then he pokes me. Ugh. Okay, now it's not going so smoothly. Come on, just get in there. He's got a small bit of health left. Hit. 
I think I started losing my cool around this point because he started surprising me by actually fighting back for a change. Get hit him, dodge. Oh, he jumps back. I like how he starts walking and going. I will not suffer defeat when I'm killing him. He, I've got less. I've got more health than you. You're dying, dude. Right. We're almost there. Dodge this again. Does it horizontally? Then he does it vertically. Seems to repeat itself quite a lot. Right. I don't remember him lunging forward much either. That's, that might be something you'd have bought in for the PC version for, I know. Now, let's just finish this off with a charge shot free. It'll do. You'll never live through it. Yeah! Okay, so we get another new upgrade, the Aegis Shield. The way that works, you don't get to see it because this part's about to end, is where if you use an evil legacy on enemy and keep the button held down, you can then use them like a shield. So, it's kind of handy. I don't usually use it though. I'll probably make an effort later on. So what rank did I get? S! Hey, that's good. Okay, so, that is the end of this part and Mission 8. I'll see you guys next time for Mission 9. Thanks for watching.